Fenway Park, nestled in the heart of Boston, Massachusetts, stands as a living testament to the rich history and enduring legacy of baseball. As one of the oldest Major League Baseball stadiums still in use, Fenway Park has become synonymous with the Boston Red Sox and holds a special place in the hearts of baseball enthusiasts. Quickly before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Your support means the world to me. All right, let's learn about the history of Fenway Park and how it's become one of the most loved baseball stadiums in Major League Baseball. The story of Fenway Park in the early 20th century, a time when baseball was rapidly gaining popularity as America's favorite pastime. In 1901, a new baseball league emerged, known as the American League, challenging the established National League. Boston, one of the eight cities chosen for an American League franchise, became home to the Red Sox. However, it wasn't until 1911 that the construction of Fenway Park commenced. The park's creation was the brainchild of owner John Taylor, who envisioned a state-of-the-art facility that would not only accommodate the growing fan base, but would also provide a unique and intimate experience. Architect James McLaughlin and Osborne Engineering were tasked with bringing Taylor's vision to life. On April 20, 1912, Fenway Park officially opened its gates, marking the beginning of an era that would see the venue witness a century of baseball history. From its inception, Fenway Park boasted distinctive features that set it apart from other ballparks. The most iconic of these is the Green Monster, a towering left field wall that has become synonymous with the park itself. Initially constructed as a wooden structure, the Green Monster was later rebuilt using steel and concrete after a fire in 1934. Standing at 37 feet tall, it posed a unique challenge for both hitters and fielders, adding an extra layer of excitement to the games. Over the years, Fenway Park underwent several renovations and expansions to keep up with changing times while preserving its historic charm. The first major renovation took place in 1934, following the aforementioned fire. In 1940, lights were installed, allowing the Red Sox to host night games. The 1970s saw further renovations, including the addition of luxury suites and a new press box. Fenway Park's history is interwoven with some of the most memorable moments in baseball. One such moment occurred on September 28, 1919, when Babe Ruth, a Red Sox pitcher at the time, hit his 29th home run of the season against the New York Yankees. This feat was particularly significant as it marked Ruth's transition from a dominant pitcher to a legendary power hitter, foreshadowing his illustrious career with the Yankees. The park's intimate dimensions and unique features have contributed to its reputation as a challenging venue for both hitters and pitchers. The triangle in center field, the pesky pole down the right field line, and the quirky angles in the outfield make Fenway Park a puzzle for players and a delight for fans who relish the nuances of the game. Fenway Park has also been the backdrop of numerous historic moments in baseball postseason history. The 1975 World Series, often regarded as one of the greatest in Major League history, featuring the Red Sox against the Cincinnati Reds. Carlton Fisk's iconic home run in Game 6, where he famously waved the ball fair while jumping down the first baseline, remains etched in the collective memory of baseball fans. The Curse of the Bambino, a supposed hex placed on the Red Sox after trading Babe Ruth to the Yankees in 1919, hung over Fenway Park for decades. It wasn't until 2004 that the Red Sox finally broke the curse, winning the World Series and exercising the ghosts of the past. The victory sparked an outpouring of joy and celebration, with the team's triumph becoming a defining moment in Fenway Park's storied history. In addition to its role as a baseball haven, Fenway Park has hosted various non-baseball events over the years, including concerts, soccer matches, and even political rallies. The versatility of the venue speaks to its enduring significance. Fenway Park's centennial celebration in 2012 marked a major milestone in its history. The festivities included special events, ceremonies, and the gathering of Red Sox legends who had left an indelible mark on the franchise. 
The occasion served as a reflection on Fenway Park's enduring legacy and its continued significance in the ever-evolving landscape of professional sports. In recent years, Fenway Park has continued to evolve, adapting to the changing needs of both players and fans. The restoration of the iconic manual scoreboard, the addition of new seating options, and ongoing efforts to enhance the overall fan experience demonstrate a commitment to preserving the past while embracing the future. Fenway Park stands not only as a baseball cathedral, but also as a symbol of resilience and tradition. Its green walls have witnessed the triumphs and tribulations of generations of players and fans. As Fenway forges ahead into its second century, its hallowed grounds remain a timeless sanctuary where the spirit of baseball lives on, connecting the past, present, and the future in a way that only Fenway Park can. Thank you for watching this video about the history of Fenway Park. Before you go, please leave this video a thumbs up and give it a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to never miss any of my videos.